Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we are filming from the beautiful Buddhist temple here in Chengdu, just outside of Beijing. You should definitely come here and have a look around if you have the time for it. Today's video is going to be about food. And yes, if you know me right, I'm not a big foodie, but there are actually some things I quite like to eat here in China. I would say, I would even say I sometimes have a craving. I know, it's insane, but it has happened. Not often, but it has happened. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get to let's get started on talking about my three favorite uh, things to eat here when I am living in China. Number one on the list is of course dumplings. I've been in the north for a long time. I like very salty food and I love dumplings. I eat dumplings a lot, a lot, a lot. If I could choose between dumplings, rice and noodles, I would definitely go for da -da, dumplings. Yes, uh, I love the pork dumplings, but I also really like the ones with the uh, shrimp inside, uh, the one on the coast down the Chinese coast. I really like those as well. So I'm trying to explore more. Last time we had something with ch like dumplings with chicken inside and I was like, that's not bad either. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, I liked it. My friend didn't. <laughs> Don't make those faces. <laughs> so that's number one on the list. Number two, number two is this dish called mala tang. Mala tang originated from Sichuan and it's um it is supposed to be spicy but you can kind of have it with not so much spicy in it so much pepper so i really like that because i'm not good with spicy but a little tiny bit of spiciness is okay as well that's the trouble of filming outside in tourist <laughs> countries the chinese they are not in a hurry ever so basically mala tang is like you get into the restaurant and then you pick out all these different things you want to eat, the vegetables, um, the meat, there is tofu, fried tofu, different kinds of funny noodles, <laughs> a lot of different things and then you pick it in, uh, you put it in a little basket and then in the end you give it to the chef and then he's gonna boil it in some kind of soup and then for me because I don't like it spicy so they have this nice peanut sauce, they, I think it's peanuts, <laughs> um, peanut sauce you can put on top and then your food is swimming in peanuts, <laughs> peanut paradise, there we go, I actually didn't know about this dish before uh, I've been in China for like three and a half years and I only discovered this dish like half a year ago and it's basically because it's called Ma La Tang so because of the La I was scared of the dish and because when I looked inside the restaurant it looked like hot pot and for a really long time I didn't like hot pot. Well, it was not that I didn't like it, it's just a really boring thing for me because I didn't like the spicy so I thought the soup, the hot pot was really boring. Um, so I just avoided the Ma <laughs> I think we got a audience, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the third dish on my uh, favorite top three is the Muslim food. Um, it's a mix of different things. I like the gaifan, which is like rice, and then uh, the one I like the most is the the beef and the to uh, not tomatoes, potatoes. The beef and to tomato is not. <laughs> <laughs> the beef and potatoes, my classic. Beef and potatoes. <laughs> potatoes and beef on top of the rice. We had that one yesterday. It was really, really delicious. I also like the nang bread from the from the Muslim food and uh, the char, the sticks with lamb meat. So those are like my three to go uh, Chinese food. <clears throat> Can you say that to go? Sometimes my English is just <laughs> Anyways, that's the three I really really like. I also really like um, like the food from the Guangdong province, but I would say because we're here in the north, uh, these are the three that is very easy to find when I crave them. So if I find some Guangdong or Hong Kong food, then I will go and taste it. But my top three in the north of China are definitely the dumplings, the mala tang and the Muslim food. Anyways, I think we should stop now because it seems like the tourists are getting more and more noisy. So thank you for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from Lingling and I'll see you again very, very soon. Lingling is out. See ya and see you. Bye bye.